Hello fellow Cinethusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's classic movie is the 1946 Hitchcock film Notorious, starring Ingrid Bergman and Cary Grant. And we're doing this today in honor of Ingrid Bergman's 100th birthday. And today I have my very, very first guest and it is my friend, Kimmy! Yay! <laughs> And she is a fellow Cary Grant lover, which is, yes, yes, which may, lover may be the wrong word, I'd say she's, obsessed. A, yeah, yeah, definitely extremely, extremely obsessed, but we will get into Kimmy's love and my love to a lesser degree of Cary Grant in a moment, so let's explain the plot. How would you start off with this plot? Oh, uh, well, it's a love story. Yeah, you know, it doesn't start out that way. But no, it doesn't. It, it's a classic. Yes. Well, okay. Well, well, that really didn't give that much information. Yeah, we need I know, to. We need but... to go. We need to go <laughs> into the plot a little bit. So right. it starts off with Ingrid Bergman. Her name is Alicia Huberman in this movie. Her father is convicted of being a German spy, and um, the feds are watching her to see if she does anything. Even though apparently, like Cary Grant has a record. Uh, he, like, bugged her house, and she's yeah. like, no, I'm patriotic, and my mother was an American, you know. <laughs> so she's okay, but she's a little, as the movie is called, notorious for messing around with other guys. I um, think that's implied. I'm in the... pretty sure it's implied. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, he, um, Cary Grant's character, Devlin, goes over to Alicia's house one night, and he just goes, he doesn't say who he is, and somebody says, oh, I invited him, one of her Shows friends. Shows up at a party. Yeah, it's just, he's, he's like the, the party crash <laughs> yeah. a little bit. And she just starts flirting with him. He's the last of her guests to be there. She gets completely plastered. So he, she kind of, like, starts falling for him a little bit, and uh, they who go... Wouldn't? He's yeah, beautiful. even even the back of his head is really gorgeous. Like that's the first you see of him. It's, it's the, back the back of his, of his head. head, and it's beautiful. Yeah, and it's like oddly beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but wait, when she goes out driving. Whatever, she gets totally plastered. And the next morning, she is like severely hungover, and she sees the first thing she wakes up to in the morning is his beautiful face. Some I forget why. I think they go down to Rio because they. Um, he's, well, it turns out that Devlin it works for the U.S. government. He's, like, in the CIA or yeah. some kind of, um, Secret yeah, he's, like, in the deal. U.S. government. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, he gets a notice or somebody finds out that somebody her, um, father knew who is an actual, like, Nazi and working with other people who were once Nazis are planning something, like, sinister and, um, they want... Uh, Devlin and Alicia to go down there, and especially because she knows who he is, and they get down there, and um, they, like, fall in love with each other, which is yeah. like, whoa, yeah. big shock, big Scandy. shock. Scandalous. Yeah, scandalous, definitely. <laughs> totally, totally gorgeous, very hot. Um, but again, that's for later. Uh, so they fall in love, and then he gets the um, notice from his superior that uh, they want Alicia to go undercover and get close to um, Alexander Sebastian, who is played by Claude Rains. Yeah. And Cary Grant isn't very, very happy about that. No. <laughs> and like, and then he starts becoming the typical man later on. And yeah. it's like, oh, it's all your fault. Yeah. You're falling in love. But, but like, <laughs> come on. It's the assignment. Yeah, and it's just, supposed to do. Yeah. Totally <laughs> unfair. To yeah, totally unfair. <laughs> all right. So Sebastian falls in love with... Ingrid Bergman with Alicia, and um, he asks her to marry him, which she does to kind of, like, piss off Devlin, like, yeah. you stupid piece of crap, <laughs> like, you're so mad at me, so I'm gonna make you ten times more upset, and I'm gonna say yes to this guy's proposal. Mm -hmm. She does, and then they have, like, a huge party, I think it was for their wedding, or just to, like, for everybody in society to meet her, and Cary Grant comes over, and they start making googly eyes and all that <laughs> stuff. Um, they find 
that Sebastian is keeping something in his wine cellar and like yeah. literally the key to everything yeah. that he's doing is in the <laughs> wine cellar. In the wine so Alicia steals his key to get into the wine cellar mm-hmm. off of his key ring before I think it was before the party. Sneaks down and then, the and then they sneak down there. Mm-hmm. So they find they knock over one of the wine bottles and they find it's got like some kind of like chemical or something. Some, in it. Yeah, it's like sand. It looks like yeah. sand, but it's like I forget the chemicals. Sebastian walks downstairs and sees them together, mm-hmm. and Devlin, like, pulls her in to make, like, they were down there. Like, like making like, out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, making out. <laughs> All right. Yeah. In the wine cellar. Um, I would... Me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we both... I think we we might... If I figure it was in a wine cellar, I'd be down there in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yes. Yeah. And I don't think he'd be the one doing the pulling closer. <laughs> Absolutely not. Especially picture it for a minute. Especially with this one over here. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Terry Grant would not be doing the poll in this one. Oh, yeah. would he be... would have no choice. <laughs> yeah. He. I think Sebastian realizes that. Oh shoot! I am married to a spy. Mm-hmm. And the worst part, like with a lot of Hitchcock movies, there's always like that domineering mother figure, and Sebastian yeah. has that domineering mother living with him. She's like, oh, okay, well, we can't have this. I don't like her enough as it is, Mm -hmm. so we're going to poison her to get rid of her. Nice, sweetheart (laughs) of a woman. Yeah, sweetheart of a mother. That's Uh the type of mother I want, you know? Like, oh, (laughs) you don't like this person, let's start poisoning. Then they start slowly poisoning her, but in the end, you should all know, because this is a 1940s movie, it is a classic movie, that um, the hot, handsome man goes to rescue the damsel in distress. Of course. And in the meantime, when um, Devlin goes to rescue Alicia, the other Nazi people in Sebastian's house at a meeting, they are shown that Sebastian has been living with um, an American spy who's been working for the government, and Mm -hmm. they're like, oh, come into house, and then after that, it's like up to your imagination to figure, well, maybe not, I hope you would know (laughs) know that Sebastian doesn't live that much longer. Yeah. Points to discuss. I know, I know what you want to discuss first, would you just like to go, and you can talk about Cary Grant. He's a beautiful human. That is pretty dead now, but it's just it's just sad. I miss him. Never met him, but I still miss him. <laughs> Why does he he's have just, to be so freaking he's dead? Just so freaking dead, and it's not fair. <laughs> he's just so he's the he's the definition of like just classically charming human. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, he is. He is the perfect hair. Perfect hair. The smoldering skin, looks. The, the the chin. The little butt chin is so cute. <laughs> Yeah, Cary Grant in that movie. I think my favorite, one of my favorite film scenes and just like a movie ever, besides the fact that it's Cary Grant in it, is when, um, (laughs) we'll get get there, um, is when, um, Ingrid Bergman wakes up from her, like, drunken stupor and just sees him in the hall. and Yeah. He's like, just, the way they, they angled the camera is just the perfect shot for just him standing in the doorway. Yeah. It's like... Waste you it off your wasted. ass. <laughs> you went out drug driving last night. The way Hitchcock filmed it, it it was um, from Ingrid Bergman's point of view of mm-hmm. her like laying, laying down in the, the bed. bed. Yeah, so it's like slightly skewed, mm-hmm. but you just see him. The camera is like tilted this way, and you just see him standing in the hallway. And I mean, seriously, if I woke up to that with like so with him, happy. oh my god! <laughs> like what woman? If, first of all, if you are a, a, a woman any age mm-hmm. doesn't matter my great grandmother was 98 years old and a few years ago she said i'm 93 years old and if that man asked me to do a handstand i would do a handstand yeah. you okay just, you would do whatever he said yes yeah because he's like, okay he's a beautiful human being yeah um if i woke up to that i mean god i think my hangover would be cured that's the dream oh yeah oh big time that is that is the absolute dream <laughs> Let's get to our favorite part. Well, my favorite scene, <laughs> and probably one of the most genius scenes filmed in a movie. Um, if you're not familiar with the production code, uh, it was essentially that you couldn't 
a couple could not kiss for more yeah. than three seconds. <laughs> Hitchcock wonderfully worked his way around that. Mm -hmm. He had Cary Grant and Ingrid Bergman being in an embrace, yeah. and then every three seconds they would kiss, they would kiss. pull apart, kiss. They would talk. And, yes, in they between, would talk, and then start kissing again. Yeah, and I hated her. <laughs> that was the only part I hated her is because the fraction of the three seconds that she's her lips are touching is I hated her and then I loved her again because she's just Ingrid Bergman you can't how hate could you Ingrid not Bergman. love you Ingrid can't, Bergman you can't except that when she's woman. kissing Cary Grant that's the only time I hate her yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah. I still love her I you know what I don't even I think I li I can like say I live vicariously through her in that mm. movie I don't even know if I can yeah. say I hate her because it's like she's god the best, yeah but... yeah and <laughs> you can't deny both of Cary Grant and Ingrid Bergman were such great actors mm -hmm. um ingrid bergman like literally the woman loved to act yeah she acted until like weeks before she died like that's how dedicated she mm -hmm. was and she never i i think it wasn't like gaslight that's the only thing that comes to mind is when she really really overacts yeah. there's a couple of scenes in that but for the most part in a lot of her movies she never really overacted no she was perfect in every every role yeah and i think it was because she was trained mm -hmm. as an actress and then she just really liked it she was just very yeah. very dedicated to whatever roles yeah she, she knew what she was doing yeah definitely <laughs> she definitely knew what she was doing yeah. her acting was just and like cary grant was just the man could do comedy he could do drama whatever yeah, he was good in everything he was good in everything so the two of them together the, like yeah this these immense immense talents together were just wonderful. And then you have Alfred Hitchcock, who was, like, the greatest director yes. of all time. I mean, the guy knew what he wanted. Totally paraphrasing, probably. Um, he said, film your love scenes like murder scenes and film your murder scenes like love scenes. That's perfect. And pretty much, I think that definitely applies to Notorious because it's like, they hated each other. Like, yeah, they just, they're always fighting. They just, like, really... Sp very spiteful. Yeah, they just... Very like, spiteful. Yeah, very spiteful of each other <laughs> after Ingrid Bergman is forced, forced, forced to hook up with <laughs> Sebastian, like, forced. And then yeah. Cary Grant is all like, like oh, no, no, she's not to be trusted. Bro. Yeah. Like, she's a notorious woman. We don't know. You know, yeah. like, she's not good. But, like, she was come doing on. her job. Come on, she's doing her job. <laughs> like, double standards here, man. But Ingrid Bergman gave some good attitude. We were talking about Alfred Hitchcock. We were on the roll of Alfred yeah. Hitchcock. Um, <laughs> the man was just a genius. He knew, he just always knew what he wanted in his scenes. And yeah. he, like... He had Ingrid Bergman in quite a lot of his movies. My favorite thing he ever said about her was, Oh, Ingrid, so beautiful, so stupid. <laughs> like, I can totally s picture the man <laughs> yeah. saying it. Like, I, my, one of my favorite scenes besides the one from Ingrid Bergman's point of view is where you see the key in Alicia's hand. Yeah. Now, what happened was they didn't have the cranes. You know, like, the crane shots where they just come in and now, like, yeah. that's what we have. But back then... They didn't have that. So what Hitchcock had to do, he had to build like a scaffold. Yeah. And he actually had to have the camera come down, but then he had to zoom the, the lens out into her hand. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was pretty genius. It was genius for figuring that out at that yeah. point. He was really good at yeah, I mean, I'm giving him the credit. God knows that it was probably somebody else. It could have been anybody. Yeah, it could have been anybody. But it was in his movie. So. Yeah, but it was, it was in his... It <laughs> he was in, put it in his yeah. film. <laughs> yep. Edith Head's costume designs. Yeah. Edith Head is um, probably one of the greatest costume designers ever. Mm -hmm. She did from the 20s to the 80s. Her last movie was uh, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, but that was because that yeah, but that was <laughs> but that was because she designed half the clothing All, and the for the original movies. movies yeah. that they put in that yeah. movie. Yeah, because there were a lot of like <laughs> film noirs, and I think a lot of the movies were actually Warner Brothers. But I know yeah. she did. I know Paramount did a lot, and yeah. I think um, it was a Paramount movie. So, her costumes, Ingrid Bergman looked beautiful. With mm -hmm. Edith Head's designs, she never made the costumes, like, for any any actress, over the top, crazy yeah. patterns, crazy designs. Like, you know, um, even into, into the 60s yeah. and everything like that, when she was still designing, she never overdid it and yeah. she always she kept it classy yeah definitely yeah she definitely kept it classy even in her movies in the twists were, yeah. were always very conservative yet very gorgeous very yeah. beautiful and, uh, she always had the broad shoulders Ingrid Bergman <laughs> was just so tall she was five nine and a half yeah. she was taller than a lot of women she was taller mm -hmm. than a lot of the men and which brings me to another point mm -hmm. Claude Rains was the midget yes. out of all of them 
Because <laughs> Cary Grant was like six feet tall. I think tall. Cary Grant was the only actor that Ingrid Bergman ever saw eye to eye with. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. The only one that Ingrid Bergman they didn't, didn't have, have to, to like, worry sat. about yeah. changing what they yeah. were doing. So Claude Rains actually had to have his hair poofed up. Like if you watch it and like towards very, the end. Oh, he's got high hair. <laughs> yeah. Towards the end, his hair is like very poofed up. Mm-hmm. Like they had not tried to make him taller. Mm-hmm. And actually I, I read somewhere that they had to have him on like apple boxes, but there was some <laughs> scenes where it was like Cary Grant and Ingrid Bergman standing yeah. together and they had to like build a ramp for him it's to like walk slowly up. Walk this and, ramp. and like yeah so you're as tall as everybody yeah. else there's like this one scene at the end where you could see him go like right okay and like walk up the ramp <laughs> that, that always cracks me up that always makes me laugh so hard this was supposed to be all about ingrid bergman i think we kind of covered a little off point. um <laughs> this one went a little off point because i promised her that we would talk about mm-hmm. cary grant he is very gorgeous he is a beautiful human being but this was not about cary grant <laughs> i think we covered notorious <laughs> we covered our main points we fangirled over cary grant and ingrid we fangirled and ingrid. over ingrid yeah but not was, as much this, as cary this was supposed to be mostly about ingrid because it would have been her 100th birthday tomorrow so um, I chose Notorious because get her into everything. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to do another movie, but she doesn't know the other movies very well. The only reason she knows Notorious is because... Cary Grant's in it. <laughs> so I promised her that we would do that and that I would just let her talk about Cary Grant. And we did. And I just want to say Ingrid Bergman is one of my absolute favorite actresses. She's just absolutely gorgeous. She's so beautiful. beautiful. She's an actress I think a lot of people who are into acting should yeah. definitely, definitely look up to because yeah. she was never... What you saw was the character. Mm-hmm. And for a lot of classic Hollywood actresses, you just got the pretty. You never got the talent or you got the talent. Like, yeah. when I think of just the talent that comes to mind, I think of, like, Agnes Moorhead, mm-hmm. who was in, was in Citizen Kane. I think of that she wasn't very pretty Mm -hmm. but she had like this insane stage talent and that didn't really go hand in hand in old hollywood Mm -hmm. unfortunately but like with ingrid bergman as i said the only time i can ever think of her really overacting too much was in gaslight and i really admire her for that and i i admire every movie i see of her i've seen so many of her films even including her swedish ones she's great and i think she really reached a good point in her career when yeah. she worked with Hitchcock. Definitely. Yeah. She was good. Yeah, she there's very very l- not many movies. Thank you for watching our review of Notorious. If you like this review in any way, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below so we can further discuss this movie. Subscribe to Let's Get Reels for future movie reviews and more classic movie Thursdays maybe featuring this one over here. Maybe. <laughs> As always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous. Thanks.